So um, now, tell me now, we met, as far as I can recall, we hadn't met until we did Gavin and Stacey. Yes. Right. And I don't think that you were at the read-through, were you? No, I don't think I was. I think I was. I must have been doing something else. So maybe... I remember you weren't there because I remember when we started rehearsals, we were in that um, old church or like that, not church hall, but those, you know, big rooms or something. And we'd been, I'd been rehearsing for about two days and then I came in and you were sitting in there. I remember being really nervous and going, oh, hello, my name's Joe, nice to meet you. And you turned around and you said, hello, I'm Rob, lovely to meet you. And I don't think I've ever seen that person since. <laughs> <laughs> you were so, you were just so, so it was like, there weren't any gas or anything at all. You were just, you were so incredibly polite and, um, and you, were, you were really lovely. And I've never seen that person since. <laughs> He's... He's gone now. You, all you see now are my coping mechanisms. You know, just, just, just my my jokes. <laughs> now, do you think I look back on those early episodes of the show, and I think that Bryn is a little bit different. I, I think it's settled into something. How how would you say with Stacey? Do, were you there from the start? Because to me, I would say you were, and, and you may say you see no difference in Bryn from the beginning. No, I've seen a difference in Bryn. Yeah, I think, yeah, you, 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 I've seen how Bryn's, you know, progressed and how he's moved on and how you've settled, you know, into him. And, but with Stacey, um, yeah, I think, uh, looking back now when I see it, I think I can't believe that people can even understand me because I was so excitable. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas now, now you're this, you're this vision of zen-like calm. Yeah, I'm so calm all the time now. But I mean, there's some times where I'm like literally flying through everything and I'm so excited. But then when you think about it, I'm so young. Well, I remember getting the script and going, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I was, I was so close to giving up on acting anyway because I just lost out on the Dirty Dancing musical. And I was so gutted. I mean, I, 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 I literally pinned everything on that. And then and it had been going on for months and months and months. Uh, we've done like the big dance routine. Uh, we've you know, done acting scenes. And then they put me in this room in Pineapple Dance Studios. So there's like mirrors everywhere. It's like literally only like the stuff that I've ever seen off the telly. And um, with the fella who's, you know, played the original part of Johnny on stage, he was gorgeous and he was a proper dancer. And I was there in my tracksuit. I was so sweaty because I'd been dancing so much. I'd smeared chocolate down myself. So I started acting with him and I thought, oh, in the film, she walks around him. And if you, have you seen Dirty Dancing? And she sort of walks around him, touches his back. So I sort of touched his chest and touched his back as I was speaking. And then I just remember touching his bum because I thought, well, she does that in the film, so I may as well. And then literally out of nowhere, have you seen in Dirty Dancing how the fellas, you know, like grab a woman's thigh, shove it up on their on their waist, and then you get swung all the way round? I mean, he was a dancer, and he literally grabbed me, swung me round. I had no control over it. I was just like, oh my god, I've never done an audition like this before in my life. And then just as, as he went to take my top, like uh, they went, okay, let's stop there, let's stop there. So I quite obviously was all of a fluster now. Walked out of the room and then the casting director came up to me straight away and went, thank you, Joanna, um, everything that you've done, it's been fantastic, but we don't need you anymore after this. Bye. And I was like, oh, oh okay, um, all right. And then the other two girls were there and then the other three boys. And I, and I just remember thinking, don't cry, don't cry. And I just went, okay, well, lovely uh, to meet all of you. Good luck, everybody. Bye. And I walked out. I managed to hold it together until I got put out onto the strand. And then I literally went hysterical. I just thought I've had enough. I have had enough. I've had enough. And I thought <laughs> of sobbed. I was such a state and I thought, I'm just not going home. I never ever want to go home again. So I crossed the road and I went to the Savoy, booked a room. It was just, it was a ridiculous price. It gave my credit card across. And then they took me up in the lift. And in the lift, I was openly sobbing. It was awful. I went into the room and um, and then just sat there. They shut the door and just burst out crying. I literally took all my clothes off, put them um, in the bathroom, sat there naked in front of the mini bar, and um, and I remember and I drank a bottle of champagne, ate everything in the mini bar, and all I remember is watching um, John Prescott on the telly doing his speech about something, and I don't even know what it was about. And then it was about a week after that that I got the script then for Gavin and Stacey. 
And, um, and so I was like, if I don't get this, that is it. I am done. I am done. And so I remember Ruth saying, try a Cardiff accent. I decided my interpretation of a Cardiff accent was a really, really Welsh family's one. So I was talking like this and being very, very Welshy. And, and I remember doing a scene and then Ruth saying, can you just come outside with me for a minute? So I was like, yes, yes. And she said, what are you doing? Why are you speaking like that? And I went, I'm trying to do a Cardiff accent. And she went, just, just don't. Just, just do your own accent. It's not a Cardiff accent that you are doing anyway, but just stop speaking like that and just go in and just, just act and do the scenes. And then I went in, carried on, you know, with Matt. And then luckily, thank God, I got the part. Now, I can't remember what your original question was. Um, no. I, oh, if, if Stacey's changed. Yeah. So yeah, I would say that in the beginning, I was still trying to work out Stacey's accent, thinking, oh my gosh, so sometimes I'm a bit Welsh here, and then I think now, as it's gone on, I've settled into, well, you know, she's just from Swansea and sounds like me. 